we're going to look through the book, Bring Me Some Apples and I'll Make You a Pie, a story about Edna Lewis. It's by Robin Gorley. This is a book about a real person. It's about Edna Lewis, who was a very famous chef. And she used a lot of delicious fruits and vegetables in the food that she prepared. This story is about Edna Lewis when she was a kid. When the spring just arrived, you could hear the bird call, Whippoorwill, Whippoorwill. Edna was so excited because it meant spring had arrived and she could begin collecting delicious fruits and vegetables. She went out with her basket to collect strawberries, the first fruit of the season. A few days later, there were lettuces and greens to collect to make a delicious salad. Edna looked around and found the roots of a sassafras. Edna looked around and found the Edna found a sassafras tree and collected some of the roots. They'll make a delicious tea, she said. Edna helped her dad find a beehive in the forest. They collected sweet, delicious, and natural honey. Later on, it was cherry picking time. Edna collected the delicious tiny fruits. And then more fruit, blackberries. Collecting buckets and buckets from the blackberry bushes. Long about midsummer, the peaches were ready to be harvested. And from the garden, delicious sun-ripened tomatoes. And not too far later, melons. Sweet, juicy watermelons. Now the corn plants were growing high, getting gold on the top. It meant that the corn plants were ready. The corn plants were getting high and the tassels were getting gold and the ears of corn were getting big and ready to be eaten. Edna and her family also collected beans, green beans, delicious for eating. Late in the summer, there would be grapes, grapes to eat, but also to make into grape jam. We can eat that all winter long, said Edna. Now apples were one of Edna's favorites. There's so much to do with good apples, she said. We can make apple butter and apple cider and apple sauce to eat all winter long. But today I'll make an apple pie. When the winter was coming, many trees were dropping nuts, pecans and walnuts. So delicious. We can make nut butter cookies and walnut bread. As the first snow falls, Edna inspects the cellar. It's full of good things. Now that the snows are falling, we can't collect any more foods, but we can eat what we saved up. And soon enough, it'll be spring again and the whippoorwill will call and we can start gathering again. The end. And again, there's the real Edna Lewis when she grew up to become a famous chef.